Making a unique metal dreadnought was so simple, and I'm going to show you how. If you're over a certain age, then you'll remember playing with a metal dreadnought kind of like this one. And while there's no doubt Games Workshop models have got so much better since the millennium, there's a certain amount of nostalgia that goes along with that time period. But that past is recoverable, and better than that, you can combine the best of both worlds with modern Games Workshop design and heavy, chunky metal models. And the technology that unlocks that is metal 3D printing. Because this video is sponsored by JLC. 3D printing. I don't want to drag this video out because honestly, this is one of the simplest miniatures I've ever made. This is a resin contemptor dreadnought made by Forge World that costs 79 pounds and 50 pence. And this is the same design 3D printed in metal. And it cost just over 75 pounds. So while I discuss how I had this metal dreadnought made for me, I'm going to paint it up and I'll show you the final results at the end of the video. I absolutely fell in love with the design of this miniature at the release of the last Heresy box, but playing with a plastic dreadnought just isn't the same. I really miss the weight of the model. There's loads of places you can get 3D printable files from. My go-to is usually my mini factory, but I also have a Patreon too where you can access a load of free files as well. Once you've found a model you like, head over to JLC 3D Printing and sign up for an account. Once you've done that, you can see the range of materials you can print in. Basically, there's a lot. I cover most of them in a video where I compare a $30 to a $100,000 printer, so if you're interested in that, maybe go and check that out here. Or subscribe to get notifications in your home feed. But the bit I'm most interested in, selective laser melting. And that's what we use to print our dreadnought. If you don't know what SLM is, Here's a quick overview. It's simple enough to explain. Essentially, they use powdered metal and high-powered lasers to fuse parts together layer by layer, which means you can build really complicated structures without any supports at all. So now you know. I find this stuff pretty amazing. In fact, probably so amazing that I find myself getting carried away sometimes. That definitely happened here. The model I chose initially wasn't really up to scratch. There were lots of little flaws and inconsistencies, particularly like the wall thicknesses and lots of little hollows, which I'll be honest with you, I don't fully understand. But the engineers at JLC told me they weren't good enough. Luckily though, I'm part of Once in a Six Sides incredible 3D printing community. And some of them really do know what they're talking about. I'm really grateful for your help. You know who you are. Thank you so much. But the long and the short of it is, with their help, I was able to fix the model and then submit it for printing. Using the instant quote system on JLC 3D printing, I was able to just upload the individual files, legs, arms, heads, torsos, you get the idea, and then very quickly just get a price back from them saying it was going to cost about £77. And let's just put that in context because £77 to print a metal model in China and ship it over to me in the UK is absolutely staggering, particularly when it apparently costs £79 to make something in resin and ship it to me from Nottingham, which is still in the UK. So yeah, sure, just under £80 is a lot of money to spend on one model, but I like to think of it like this. I am the only person in the world who has a metal Contemptor Dreadnought right now. And that's pretty exciting. Because of the professional team at JLC 3D Printing, they were able to turn this order around. From placing the order to receiving the order at my door took less than two weeks. Despite the fact that JLC are sponsoring this video, I didn't get any special treatment. I just used their normal consumer software and ordered the parts. Didn't get expediated shipping, just absolutely bog standard service. So let's just recap. The process for me to get my own unique metal sculpt shipped from China was as follows. I downloaded a free file from my mini factory or similar. I then did a bit of repair work and uploaded that file to the free quotation system on JLC 3D printing. They then did all the hard work and shipped it to me in less than two weeks. And at that point I had a model that was ready to paint that cost less than it would do from Forge World. So it goes without saying that I absolutely recommend that you should do this for yourself. I am really excited about the future of technologies like this. In fact, that's sort of what this whole channel is all about. And while I compare side by side my metal dreadnought with my one from Forge World, 
I just want to say thank you to everyone who supports me over on Patreon and joins in the chat on my Discord, and a huge thank you to JLC PCB for sponsoring this video. If you've enjoyed the video and you want to support the channel, then the links to do so are down below in the description. All that's really left to say is thanks, and I'll see you next time.